So today we've got the, oh no, I forgot to turn the background music system down, we've got the Moonraker Miner 2, which is this EU UK radio. And I've noticed I've got another version of this out, so we've actually ordered one of those. So, what's it say on the box? Oh, about what you'd expect. Yes. Right, well, let's open it up. The new one's a multi-EU version instead of just switched between UK and EU. So there we have an instruction book, which says exactly what you'd expect. Uh, for those of you who need to know, it's 220 milliamp standby. Some of you are running these things on batteries in caravans, and um, and that's that bit of information. It's one of these super eco-friendly boxes. So let's get a rule. So what's that? Uh, four and a half inches, eleven and a half centimeters. Not narrow. Like I, we bought this in about six months ago, but never got round to uh, to doing it. So you get a cigarette lighter, um, which isn't always convenient for us the way the test equipment is. Would it help if I could even get the thing to go together? There we are. And in the box you've got the thumb screws, a mic clip, and the U bracket. And then we've got a microphone here, which is a bit lightweight. Not my favourite kind of lightweight microphone. It's be one of those condenser type ones. And up, down, and that is AQ Auto Squelch, I expect so. And it's a six pin microphone connector. So let's open it up. And then we'll take it in the RF workshop and go through the setup. Oh, that caught me out. It's got screws in the back as well. got no plate on the back it's just stamped with antenna external for speaker and the uh, power lead There's a little lip there. Oh, and it's on a plug and socket, the speaker, which is, that's quite good. So, we'll go over to the uh, RF workshop with the overhead camera, but uh, it's got a relay there. There's a fiberglass printed circuit board, which is certainly an improvement from um, radios of yesteryear. So we've got one or two tune up things on this, so I'll be able to go through this, hopefully, find out what's what. So I'll see you in the RF workshop. So we're here, we are in the RF workshop with the Moonraker Miner 2. So switch it on. And it says we're in UK mode, and that says it's in CE mode, and that's back to you. So I want channel 20. Oh, so it's up down. I ought to have turned the background music off down in here in as well, but I didn't. So let's hope the copyright police don't pick up what tunes the system's playing. Um. I've got a sneaking suspicion that the only adjustments that there are coil-wise 
are going to be for the receiver. That to me looks like it's going to be the detector. And I would just think these are receiver. So I'm going to do something different. We're going to start with receive, which we don't normally do because of that. So I think it's going to be one of these all in one videos because there's so little to adjust. There's a lot of presets in this that I will grant it. And is that a modulation transformer for a other area where it's an AM FM set? Or is that a, a power input choke? You know, I don't know. So, see what we can do. Let's put some volume on it. And turn the squelch down and the RF gain up. help if I plug the instrument in. So as it's come out of the box it's receiving Not point the twenty decibel sign add it's not point three of a microvolt, which is fantastic. Well I think we're gonna backwards engineer this. I'll just put some volume on so I can see it on the oscilloscope properly. The only one which hasn't got wax in it, I think is the detector. But I'm wrong. So that's definitely receive. That's definitely receive. I'm looking at this with the sign ad meter. That's definitely receive. And that's definitely receive. Would expect that to be detected, but no, oh, it's not uh, not doing what I expect. Right, so let's see what we've now got for twenty decibel sign ad. Bearing in mind I'm doing this in UK. Excellent, 0.3 of a microvolt.
So with S9 signal, what does the meter read? For what it's worth. <laughs> it says 1, 2, 3 and 4. Well for S9 I'd want it to read 3 out of 4, I think. So which preset, I've done a little diagram, so we know we know that that's receive, that's receive, that's receive, that's receive. So that's those sorted. So what we can just do before I just uh, we'll just go into transmit and I'll just tell you what power it's doing and it is doing 3.9 watts and it's slightly down on frequency it should be 2779125 it's 2779104 I know it's neither here nor there but it is this is the reference crystal and next to it we have the frequency just for that I'm going to go anti-clockwise and see what that does and clockwise yeah it's clockwise to go up which is what you'd expect but isn't usually how it works that's just slightly high now at 142 There we go, 27.79129, so it's just slightly high. So I've said many times before they drop with age, so it's we just set them slightly high. So that's done that. Now there's going to be a power control. And what I'm supposed to have is a different pair of glasses. Oh yes, here they are. So it's guess the controls time. Well, I can see quite a hefty transistor for a service mount transistor. So that could well be an automatic power control. So let's see with it keyed up. Let's see what happens. Nothing. So that's not it. So if we've got one round the transmitter side, which is going to be this area, we would expect that if it's a genuine RF meter, then it could well be that control. That sounds like deviation. Just turn the volume down. get our little oscillator out So in actual fact the automatic power control is that one. So what can we do? Oh about 3.2 watts. What's brought it up from the Was it 2.9 I said? I, I should have said 2.9. Yeah, it's 3.2 now. So I'll make a note on our sheet. That's TX power. So back to deviation. Well, in that case, I would think that's deviation.
Wallow. Wallow. So we have FM deviation there, but I haven't got it how it should be by any means. So we'll come back to that. Now on receive, I've put an S9 signal into it and we discover that this preset to the left of this relay is the meter. So we've got two, one, two, three, four. So I want it to read three at S9. So putting a plus 30 signal in, it's gone to plus 30. So that's another one we've got sus, so we can write that one down. So we've got deviation, we've got S meter. Now one of these will be squelch and one might be preset squelch. I don't think it's true auto squelch. So we've got squelch preset here. So you've got the two electrolytic capacitors here and the preset there is squelch. So we can add that in. Now make sure it's set right. So we've turned the signal generator off. Squelch the threshold. Signal generator on, comes in at one microvolt, squelch to full, that's no good, it never comes in. So we'll just adjust the preset till it does, which is there, then we'll do the test again. Signal generator off. Squelch to threshold, signal generator on. That's come in at about 0.7 of a microvolt. Squelch to full. That's coming in at 3 microvolts, so it's not coarse enough. Again, third time lucky. Squelch to threshold, signal drain it to on. So it's coming in 0.5 of a microvolt. Squelch to full on the radio. And that's coming in about um, plus 10, plus 20. So that's now set to the ideal position. So that's the squelch. That, took, that was a bit finicky. Now it has an auto squelch position, which I would think is preset on this radio. So it looks like you activate it f solely from the mic. So let's see what happens. Ah, we've got a green LED come up on the radio. So off, on. Okay. So we'll do that test again. Because I suspect that one of these presets is actually a preset squelch. Okay, so our next preset is at the bottom of the LSI chip there. That is the preset squelch, what they call the auto squelch position. It looks to be an, um, a preset squelch. So I will put auto squelch, but it's not that auto by the looks of me but without a circuit diagram I don't know so that leaves us with two I suspect one of them is modulation for an AM version of this and I haven't yet found a power meter so let's have another go at power meter
I've just switched it to EU channels because I've just got a sneaking suspicion that could be that you set the um, RF power separately on the EU set of frequencies. Let's see what it's doing. It's doing 3.1 watts the same, so I now suspect that one of those is modulation. So go back to UK, channel 20. Wallow. 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 So, with the oscillator, we're getting only 1.9 kilohertz deviation. I want it to be 2.2 .2 to 2.5. So, let's see with the whistle. We're getting 2.2. Wallow. 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 Testing one, two. So we have two presets which are a mystery. And that's one by the audio IC just there. And one by, if that's a modulation transformer or a power input choke, down there. I just think that there's ver versions of this that, you know, Germany used to only allow be allowed one watt on, uh, on uh, was it AM? It, it could be tied in with that, uh, but seeing as we can only switch between UK and EU on this version, we can't go any further into it. So. There's one possible transmit adjustment that I didn't look at initially. There is an adjustable core there, so let's just see what happens. So we've got a question mark over that preset, and we've got a question mark over that preset. So, just to recap, we found that uh, we've got the uh, trimmer for the uh, frequency there, we've got deviation there, we've got transmit power there, we've got the two coils for receive, we've got the two coils for receive there, that looks like the detector but I can't make it do anything different on the test set, we've got the question mark preset there, by the relay there we have the S meter, we have the other question mark preset there, and then we have squelch preset there, and we have auto squelch preset here at the front. So that's it. Now, the only thing I don't like, and I'll just wait for this uh, radio, this goes back over to uh, background music in a moment. It um, seems to be a Radio 4 play that we've got the tail end off. So in conclusion, superb receive, 0.3 of a microvolt, we got it down to. Um, it appears the auto squelch function is a preset squelch. So you've got up down on the mic, you've got the up down on the radio. We've got the RF gain, I'll just prove that works. We'll put the signal generator on. Turn the squelch off, there we go. Well, that's interesting because the RF squelch, the RF gain does absolutely nothing. That's minimum. And that's maximum. How bizarre is that? Can you all hear that hum coming in with it? You've got a musical note. Turn the signal generator's tone off and turn the volume up. 
that's the CPU or the synthesizer. That is horrible. As he got less signal, it's uh, less noticeable. So apart from an RF gain control that does nothing, and the transmitter does 3.1 watt, and um, a nasty whine from the CPU, I think that about concludes it. Everything else seems to work as you would expect. So what we'll just do, we'll uh, button it up and put it on the aerial here. Uh, we will do a, uh, an, a, an air test with it. Uh, when next time we have Mr. Chippy coming down. So there we have it put back together. So I'll just uh, plug it into the aerial, switch off the signal generator. Tina Roger. Oh, I better put it onto its own, its own speaker, hadn't I? So we'll go for manual squelch. Because people are sat there talking on 19 like they do, you can't do the old one niner Roger, but anyway, it's obviously receiving all right, which he was certainly proved on the signal generator. Uh, 3.1 watts is all we got out on transmit. And then you've got this RF gain control that does nothing. I'll just turn the squelch off again. So there you have it, the Moonraker Minor 2, which has now been replaced by the Moonraker Minor 2. <laughs> Is it the, called the Multi or something? But that will be coming uh, this week, and it uh, be interesting to see whether they've got rid of that um, CPU wine, and, uh, and whether it does a little bit more on uh, transmitter. It's quite a compact set, and it certainly receives okay. So there you have it. Thank you for watching. So, I read the instruction book. There's a rider to the video which I thought I'd finished. And it says RF gain knob. The transistor. No, start again. This transceiver uses a high sensitivity and selectivity receiver circuit. The receiver gain is adjustable with the RF gain knob. By rotating the, no rotating the knob anti clockwise, receiver gain is reduced. Its convenience to reduce the receiver gain in case of a very strong signal from local stations. This knob only functions in AM mode. So I thought, well, why would it tell you that when it's FM only? Because it's U, FM for, uh, for the UK, and it's CE for the CPT channels, FM. Then it says, channel 9 and 19 switch. This function can select emergency channel 19 and 9. Note. In the off state, turn the set to channel 9, then select the frequency of other European countries, then turn the channel can confirm. This isn't very good English, by the way. Restart the radio, and it will prompt with the current frequency list. 
So I thought, aha, so it's a CE Multi in disguise. So I now have it on AM. I've set it to, let's switch it off. Switch it on. It's now in EU mode. And so now it's FM or AM. Signal generator on. Twenty-seven two oh five AM AM RF gain and RF gain works in AM mode. So the mystery adjustments the detect is AM detector, the thing I thought was FM detector. Mystery adjustment number one, which is the one just by the audio I see, is in fact AM modulation. And the one by the modulation transform, which it clearly is and not a choke, is still a mystery. So, to put it back to UK, switch it off, put it on channel 9, switch it on, and we can go through these. It's, there's UK. Poland, Germany, EI, which is uh, France or Spain, D2. Now, some of these are, are, are normally 1 watt on AM, but they're not, they're all 4 watts. So it's later than we think. Because I've had it about 6 months. And they're back to UK. Switch it off. Back to the centre position, switch it on, and we're in. There we go. We're in UK channels, or twenty-seven eighty-one UK channels. So there we go. That was a bit of a revelation. A set that I didn't expect to do that. When looking back at the instruction book, it says ASQ on and off. When you press this button, that's the one on the mic, the LED lights for TX and ASQ will light for green. Then it says, then ASQ pen, P-E-N, as in one of those. What? What does that mean? And with that, I'll say thank you for watching. The Moonraker Minor 2.